How's it going, everybody? Today we're gonna be looking up setting up your own um, website on the dark web or whatever you want to call it using Tor and Nginx. Um, so if you already have Nginx configured, um, if not, you know you can just be able to install it with Nginx. But that's not what this video is for today. We're gonna be setting up just some of the Tor stuff and some of the Nginx configuration specifically for the Onion website. So once you have Nginx all set up, you can go ahead and get Tor also. I already have it, but it's going to do something just like that and get it installed for you. And in here, we're going to set up, change something in the configurations. Um, we're going to need sudo to be able to access this file. And it's going to be under Tor, and it's going to be called Tor RC. And we need to click enter. And you should be able to go in here in whatever editor you would like to go in. And there's going to be these two lines right here. This is going to be a hidden service directory and a hidden service port. So in this port, you can be able to define it however you want to, I believe, uh, to make sure your firewalls and whatnot are open for that port. And here's going to be this directory. So like I mentioned, these are initially commented. You're going to want to uncomment and save that. And here, it's going to be var lib tor hidden service. Let's go ahead and copy that and exit out of here. And now we can do sudo and we're going to go and use the system CDL to restart Tor. And that's going to put those configurations into play. And let's quickly look at this directory. We probably can't. Okay. So let's just do sudo like that. So there's a few files in here. What we want to look at is the host name. So we can do sudo cat var host name. So there it is. That's the onion domain that basically just generated for us um, right off the bat. Um, onion domains that work differently than other domains. Uh, their DNS works differently, basically. And it's not something like you don't have to go on GoDaddy, you don't have to go on Namecheap. It's not a domain you have to buy. There are ways of buying domains, I believe. So you can go ahead and get a key term at the beginning in case you just want it to stand out. But in the end of the day, it's still going to be a very long thing, just like this. So now we have this domain. It's not going to work right off the bat. Um, there's nothing really configured for it for your web server. So we can go ahead and do that as well. So in Nginx, let's go ahead and cd into that. In our Nginx directory, we have a sites available and sites enabled. So I usually edit everything in available and then I link it to enabled. But as we can see, we have one already set up for this basically. But so let's look in our sites available and we'll just want to create a file with the same name as this domain name and going to have it as dot config at the end. So it's going to be just like that. Now, of course, if this is for, I guess it's called virtual hosting, I have a bunch of domains, but if you just wanted a single domain, you could be able to do that just in this nginx config file. But let me look at that real quick. The nginx config file is able to load everything in from the sites enabled. You just include it just like that. And that's under the HTTP. So now let's look once again at nano sites available B config. And then let's click enter. And here's just it has a template that I had used that I use for most of mine. But the actual code that we're going to want to do is just um, it's going to be just like this. It's going to be server and you're going to want to listen and that's the same port that we had it at in that tor config file that we uncommented and then I have some access and error logs um, that's just to be able to when people connect um, it has an access log and people have errors it'll save it to the error log and we set the server name and it's just the same thing of course you can ignore all these commented out ones I had it configured for SSL initially but I realize uh, I don't really care too much about that um, along with some IPv6, IPv6 stuff, but nah, we're just going to ignore that for now. And here is going to be our root, our directory. Usually I call it public HTML, but I'm just going to call it hidden service because that's what it seems to be called for a lot of Tor stuff. Um, I have it a CGI file, but you can just change this to HTML, and that's basically all you need for that. And this is some stuff we can ignore and we can ignore the CGI setup and the PHP as well. And I set that to that 
Um, I guess we can ignore that as well. And we just close it off. So basically all you need is the server, the listen, you can add the access and error logs, and the server name. And then you just do the root and then the index. And you should have your index just as HTML. And of course this is the directory where the website's in. So in case your name is, I don't know, Joe, you can have as slash home slash Joe slash hidden service. And then index.html is going to be in this directory. And it's something that we can look at and create and it's going to be in there. And let me just exit out of there, not saving anything. And then you're going to want to start, restart your Nginx as well. And there should be no errors or anything. In case you want to figure out about errors when you restart your Nginx or when you restart your Tor, um, maybe you mistype something, you can just do status and it'll pop up some stuff. Q will quit it out of there. Um, but yeah, it'll tell you if there's any sort of errors or anything that's not working for you. So now we can go ahead and CD into this website. And in here, you can create a directory, um, make directory, hit in service. I already have this directory made, so now let's jump into there. So you have the root set to this directory. As you can see, that's the same directory that was in the root. And you can just do nano index.html. And if that's all it was this high, um, you can do all your whole website configured completely in here. And whenever you go into the Tor browser and check it out, it's going to work the same way. My example, it was CGI, it's this website. So we can go ahead and let's quickly get this address again, this domain name. And it might take a second, as some things tend to do, but that should work perfectly. This website, it's something I actually discussed in a previous video. Um, maybe you guys came from there, but go ahead and check it out. I was just showcasing this little board um, chat website that I had made for fun, um, kind of just for a learning experience. But hopefully this video is useful. I don't know exactly what you guys want to do um, with all this, but if you guys create anything fun, um, share it in the comments, and see you guys again next time. Bye.